Welcome back to Crypto Saras. I am George. We're all George. So, happy Saturday. What is going on Bitcoin today? I got a few things to share. Obviously, yesterday we had a nasty drop. Bitcoin fell to 55,000 approximately before bouncing back up. It's about 25% from the top. And I did show you guys yesterday that a 25% drop in a bull market is perfectly fine. I know that doesn't sound or make a lot of sense for newcomers in the space. But generally speaking, in a bull market with stocks, for example, you don't see something drop 25% often. But I've shown you guys throughout history in bull markets, especially in bull markets, we have many, many, many 20, 25, 30, even 40% drops. Okay. A lot of volatility. The name of the game is volatility when it comes to crypto. It's the price of emission, really. It, anyone can get into crypto. It, it's free to get into, right? There's no, there's no, there, there's, there's no real barrier. As long as you have a dollar, you can get into crypto. But volatility, that's what the sets people apart. Those that can withstand the volatility and understand that the dips happen and they're normal. They're the ones that stay and succeed. The ones that don't do not understand and they get feared out in the market. They're the ones that are gone forever, right? That's just how it works. So obviously right now we got two major FUD points. One is German government that continues to sell. I checked the address before I started filming this. As of 20 hours ago, no movements, right? So did they get smarter and now they go sell OTC market or they just stop temporarily because it's the weekend and the guy in charge of selling is off or are they going to continue to keep on dumping, right? We don't know. They still have about 2.2, 2.3 billion left. So it makes sense that they continue to dump, but it's starting to get national attention, not only national global attention even one of their parliament members is saying this is stupid right maybe that's go stop the selling maybe they're going to relook at things maybe maybe they didn't know maybe even their own parliament didn't know they had this much bitcoin and they started selling right so we just don't know what they're going through right now right but hopefully it stops uh, even if it doesn't you know we, we're going to see continued down pressure for a little bit um and of, of course mount gox their distribution right how much more are they going to distribute and are those creditors going to dump? We don't know either, right? But here, here's a couple of good things to keep, uh, keep focus on. Since the beginning of this bull market, since basically January 2023, the, the, the entire market took in about $230 billion, okay? $230 billion. So even with Germany, even with Mt. Gox, uh, it's a, it's just a small portion. There has been so much money coming into the space because of enthusiasm over the Web3 space. And of course, uh, due to inflation and mismanagement of, of, of so many things, money around the world has driven a lot of people into Bitcoin, right? And into the space. So whatever happens in say the next week or next two weeks or the next few months leading you know towards the elections later this year um no matter how much gets sold okay does not does not overcome how much has been bought 230 billion approximately and that number will only go up here's the other great thing on on uh, on friday yesterday guess what you would figure on a nasty day right people would be panic selling you look at etf inflows one of the best days we had in weeks we had 140 million net inflow. BlackRock themselves bought uh, nearly 120 million. And uh, Bitwise took in like about 30 or 40 million, right? So what does that mean? People definitely are not going away. Just because Mt. Gox creditors, some may be selling and Germany is selling, does not mean everyone else is selling. Sure, paper hands, letter hands, they are selling. But yesterday's large inflow shows that institutions even think that this is a great buying opportunity, right? Wall Street, <laughs> uh, for better or for worse, there are some smart guys there and they know how to make money and they know to buy when fear is up, right? The, the famous quotes, buy when there's blood in the streets, even if it's your own, you know? Uh, buy when others are fearful, right? These quotes come from legendary Wall Street investors and it applies to Bitcoin and crypto as well. So, that is very positive, right? Uh, 
and I'm pretty sure I don't have the metrics in front of me, but I'm pretty sure if you're looking at long-term accumulation addresses, they also went up yesterday and, and, and the last few days in this entire week, right? So again, do not be fearful. I know it sucks to check your portfolio and see the alts, especially to get decimated when Bitcoin goes down, right? But this happens every single cycle every single cycle so you just have to remind yourself that this is actually normal today we're seeing bitcoin come up a little bit it's like as of recording right now it's like 57.3 right so we can just come right back up to 60,000 and possibly even to 64,000 in no time or we may stay at these levels or even go a little bit lower because of the continued selling right we just don't know we just don't know at this point but i know for a fact i know for a fact that we got a lot of major catalysts coming and the conditions, the macro conditions are going to improve. And Bitcoin is going to be higher by the end of this year, for sure. I know it. I know it in my heart that Bitcoin will be much higher by the end of this year. And I think it's going to be somewhere between a hundred to 150,000 by the end of this year, which sounds ridiculous. I know it sounds incredible, but let's not forget Bitcoin was already at 73,000 earlier this year. Just within a matter of months, Bitcoin went from sub 30,000 to 70,000, right? We could certainly see that happen end of this year, starting from September, October, right? Right before elections and carry all the way into the next year, into 2025. We could certainly see that. And between now and September, we could go sideways for a little bit or we start recovering back again to the 60s and then 70s, right? Time goes really, really quick. Sentiment changes really quick in crypto. Even the crypto greed and fear index. Just last week, we were still greedy or neutral at least, but last month we were greedy. And now we have turned fearful, extremely fearful. I was looking at it this morning. We're at 26 for fear level. We haven't seen a fear level 26 since January of 2023 when Bitcoin was at $15,000. Think about it. We're at the same fear level now as when Bitcoin was at $15,000. That doesn't quite make any sense, right? But that's just how it is. Sentiment changes really quickly. And we could be back up to 70000 and turn from fear all the way to greed in, <laughs> in a matter of a month. It could happen, right? But right now, I know the biggest unknowns are Mt. Gox, how much of the creditors are going to sell, and German government. At this point, I just, I, I really wish we could just tear off the band-aid, right? I really wish German government would just sell 2.2 billion and just get it over with, even if it's spot. Even if they sold spot, it may drop Bitcoin down to like 30,000 temporarily before it comes back up. Um, but still, I'm hoping that it come to their senses. They do OTC if they must sell, but maybe. Now that their own parliament members are questioning the, the motives behind this, maybe they're going to stop. Is the, I mean, I know that they're probably struggling for money, just like any other country. But, you know, $2.2 2 is a drop in the bucket for them. Okay, for, for governments, they need trillions. <laughs> they don't need billions. They need trillions. Okay, that's how bad it's gotten uh, for many countries around the world. So, anyways, that is all, guys. Uh, stay strong. That is my message as always. Stay strong, stay focused, continue to hold on DCA and let the life-changing wealth come to you. Take advantage of the low, low prices. Many are. Wall Street is certainly doing it. And I'm sure long-term holders are doing it. And I am doing it. And hopefully you guys are doing it too. All right? Smash the like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, look forward to my Sunday walk video tomorrow. And of course, me streaming on Monday. All right, take care. Bye-bye.